Okay, for those in the lighting market, we are all no strangers to constant current LED drivers. Here we have two LED drivers. The one with the green case at the back is a constant current LED driver that we specially designed for this 18 watt, 5 meter long LED strip light. The driver is face dimmable and has an output voltage of 4 volt. As the input power for this LED strip is directly proportional to the length, the constant current driver also has a red dip switch. Yeah. Okay. That allows selectable output currents to regulate the driving current according to the strip length. However, in practice, it's also very often that we don't find an LED driver tailor-made for a particular fixture. The LED driver with the metal case in the front is a constant voltage LED driver. There's a 12 volt constant voltage LED driver that's designed for the LED strip light application in general. It looks no different from the constant current driver that it has the AC input terminal and the DC output terminal for the LEDs. The 12 volt constant voltage LED driver is very convenient in the case because as long as the power requirements can be supported by the driver, the same LED driver can be used for different LED strips. In this case, the, all the three wheels amounts to 54 watt, which is less than the 60 watt power output of the LED driver. And here we have three wheels of LED strips already connected in parallel. So let's try dimming all three wheels together with the 60 watt with the with the 60 watt constant voltage LED driver. Now once again, deep dimming is achieved as expected. So now let's disconnect one wheel and we repeat the same pulses. Now with one wheel is removed or disconnected, we again try dimming the two wheels with the same constant voltage LED driver. Same result as expected. So you can see that the constant voltage LED driver can be handy for the application since we don't need to concern the driving current in each scenario. And obviously that's not the case for a constant current LED driver. Now to make the demonstration more interesting, let's connect both the constant current and the constant voltage LED drivers together with our Dim Easy Dimmer and see the dimming performance. And for, for, and for easy comparison, let's connect only one wheel to both types of drivers and start dimming at the maximum level. So now we have both drivers connect to the same dimmer and we start dimming from the top. You can see the, the one at the back or at the, on the right hand side let's connect to the constant current driver it's more sensitive and responds faster than the constant voltage driver as we dimmed. Okay. On the other hand, the constant voltage driver shows a faster response for the ramping towards the maximum level. So each driver does show a different response to the same dimmer. It's up to the users to balance the poles and corners and select according to the needs. Let us also remind you that the dimming performance of the individual lighting fixture may vary across different combinations of the dimmer and the driver designs. Now finally, just before we finish our video, since both drivers are also face dimmable, let's connect to a drag dimmer and find out more about the difference between the two. Let's connect the drivers to a fast tester and a drag dimmers together. So here we have both types of drivers that's actually now connect to the KB31, which is a track dimmer. 
and we start dimming. Okay, not surprisingly, relative to the constant voltage driver, the LED, the constant current drive, LED driver is more sensitive to the line voltage changes, and so some flickering towards the, the end of the dimming range. And for more details on this, please review our earlier video on track dimmer versus the digital LED dimmers. Note also that both phase dimmable drivers show limited dimming range with the conventional dimming the track dimmers as compared to the LED dimmer. Okay, we can only switch this off. Okay. There's already some flickering at, at the at the back. Now of course the last dimmed brightness level of the digital dimmer is another no match to the conventional. This confirms our understanding and matches with what we have shown in the earlier video. So we hope this gives more insight to the designer and the EMN co ENM consultants for their better future product selection. And to learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, please check out other videos in the series. And thank you for watching.